Hi, it's Nika from Fabulously Creative. Welcome back to my channel. And today I will be doing a video on how to print these inserts for my mini happy planner. A few of you requested directions on exactly how to print these and put them in your planner. So let's jump to my computer screen so I can get started. All right, now that I have the file open, the first thing I do is go to file and hit print. And my screen is slowed down a bit because I'm talking at the same time. First thing I do is hit print and you do have to watch my, follow my cursor. But the first thing I do is right under the pages, there is a little arrow that says more options. And if you click that arrow, a drop down box will appear. And in that box, you can select um, all pages in range, or you can click odd pages or even pages only. So click the even pages only and then hit print. And once those are printed out, you will take that stack, that entire stack, flip it over, put it back in your printer, and then select this option again. And this time you want to print the even pages. You want to print on back of those other pages. So I'm just hitting print and you may have to do this two times just to figure out what, which direction the paper feeds in your printer, but that is pretty much it. And I'm gonna show you another option just in case like you can't find that um, option to print even pages because on different computers or different printers, you know, it may be hard to find. So if you don't want to do that, you can go to pages and then just click, I mean, just uh, select each odd page. So I'm put inputting into that box page one comma three comma five comma seven comma nine, basically all the odd pages. And then I will hit print. And once those are printed, you will turn that entire stack over, put it back in your printer go back to that option and this time you're going to type in all the even pages with a comma between each page and hit print and like i said you may have to uh, print it twice just to figure out which way the paper feeds through your printer because different printers uh, do different things another thing i want to show you at the top if you don't want to print all the um, colors you can click that print in grayscale All right, once you have everything from out of your printer, this is how this is how it comes out of the printer. This is how it will look. And the first thing you will notice is there are two different colors on each page. So at first glance, it looks like they don't really match how you see, you know, dark pink, light pink on this side. So the first thing I do is just cut them all to get started, I just go ahead and cut them all down the middle. All right, once the sheets are cut down the middle, I will put them in order before I cut the actual insert out. And there's a line around around each page to make it easier to cut out but the important thing when putting them in order is to look at that margin on the side you know this is the side that you will punch with your happy with your um with your punch so i look for these two sheets and i see that the margins go together so I'll just put that one right there and the next I'm looking for that color because as you turn the pages you want the colors to change. So I see these two margins and the pages line up so I'm looking for this next green one and when, once you start putting them in order it makes more sense. So I have another green one the next color is gray so I see that these go together so I'll go ahead and put them in order. So I'll put this color with that one and on this side it's Monday through Thursday and then on this side 
is Friday through Saturday. And basically, I'm just lining, I'm lining the colors up. And this one actually, like the one with those directions, I always put that one first. Because you do end up like with a blank a blank page in between the set that you printed and the month. I'm looking for, yeah, here's the other blank page. So you'll have that blank page like when you start a new month. And that blank page usually goes into the monthly layout. And the, uh, the stickers in my shop work for the monthly layout also. It's the same, same size. And once I have them all in order, then I go ahead, cut around, like cut each actual insert out. You can do this step with a paper trimmer. Like I, no I normally cut mine on a paper trimmer, but I'm just doing this just to show you. And it doesn't have, I know some inserts have the crop lines. It doesn't have a crop line. It, it has an actual line around each page. And I just did it that way. So it's easier, easier to cut out. So you don't need any special special trimmer or heavy duty trimmer you can just do this with regular scissors and as I cut them I do keep them in order even though in a minute, I'll show you. I'm going to change the order around again because I like sometimes I put the month, sometimes I put the month in a different section of my planner. And that's why it has like that blank page in the, like that blank page when it goes to a different month. So you can put them in a different order, which I normally, it depends on what color or what mood I'm in for that week. And that depends, you know, that kind of determines what color insert I'll use that week. Or, if you don't want to use the colors, you can just print them all in, print them all in black and white or gray scale. Or just print them on a black and white printer and you won't get any color. now that I have all these sheets cut out I'm going to go ahead and punch them and before you punch them you just want to make sure that that edge with the margin is the side that's going into the puncher and I normally do four sheets at a time I know they they, rec they say do max three sheets but I find you get a cleaner punch with four sheets and to line it up I don't know if you can see that but I'm just putting it like in between, in between these two, these two holes on each edge. And I'm not going to, you do get like that awkward blank sheet in between, like in between the month. I'm not going to punch that one yet because I want to show you what I normally do with that one. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but this one I only punched two sheets. And that's what I mean by you don't get like a clean punch. You always have that little, I don't know, that little edge of paper right there. 
And before I punch these two sheets, like you get this awkward page, this awkward blank page in between your mark. So what I like to do with those, I'm just going to be, before I punch them, I'm just going to glue it on to a piece of cardstock. Once I glue it on there, I'm just going to cut it back out. Alright, now that these are cut out, I'm going to go ahead and punch them. And you don't have to do this to both of these blank sheets. You can just do it to one of them. I like to do it with both of them because I like extra space in between layouts. So let me go find the page because I pulled that one out the middle. That was the right side of a month, the left side. I'm just putting these all back in order. So you can see this is the way, like if you put that paper, this is the way it works out. You get a nice, a nice pattern to start off your new month and it opens into the monthly layout. And this is, let me see, one, two, three, four. Okay, you have five weeks and then it goes to monthly layout and then one, two, three, for yeah another five weeks so this is like a little set of two months right here and this is about this is about how much I keep in my planner at one time so there you have it and let me just show you like I'll put this one in put it in my weekly section what week are we on So basically you have and just a nice separation before you start that new month. And you can totally change the order of these, but I just keep it, I move it around depending on what mood I'm in for that week, I'll change the color. So if you still have questions on how to print and use this, this insert, just leave me comments or questions in the, what am I saying? See, this is why I like to do voiceovers, but I'm trying not to do a voiceover. If you have, if you still have any questions about this insert, just leave me questions in the comments section.